It's time for Just the Tips. We have Nate from uh, Kalamazoo Comedy in studio. Hello, Nate. How's it going, guys? Good morning. We are, well, they are giving hilariously bad dating advice to listeners who email us. And this week, 32-year-old Kristen writes, I did my weekly grocery shopping last night. I'm a single girl, so I don't need a lot of things. Among the things I got was a 12 double rolls equals 24 single rolls value pack of toilet paper and a huge box of tampons. As I was checking out, a very hot man got in line behind me. He smiled at me and then looked over at my items and immediately <laughs> laughed. Normally, I would have tried to start a conversation with the guy, but I was too embarrassed. And to make matters worse, the checkout lady forgot to ring up the tampons, and the guy had to grab the box and say, these aren't mine. Oh. So what do you do if you're in line next to someone hot, but your purchases are embarrassing? Adam West said, uh, when in line holding tampons and toilet paper and you see a hot guy, just lean in and whisper, you know where I put these, and then wink. <laughs> It's totally something Adam Whoa. West would do. Yeah. <laughs> he probably has done that. Uh, Harvey Booker says, uh, Kristen, how mortifying. Now that totally hot guy knows that you make doo-doos and wee-wees. What could be worse? If I were you, I'd do all my shopping on Amazon Prime and never leave the house again. That is, unless you have a hot mailman, in which case you should probably just grow up. I don't know, maybe, maybe she could have those drones deliver the tampons. That could yeah. solve a lot of issues. <laughs> Um, uh, Chris Karpinski says, Kristen, no need to be embarrassed. Your purchases showed him that you were both hygienic and thrifty. He was coming on to you when he called attention to and grabbed your box. You missed the not so subtle flirtation. It would have been far worse had you been buying zucchini and Vaseline. Hot guys see those as signs of desperation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it could have been way worse. I think the way she should have handled it was to then start adding even you know, far more disturbing things to <laughs> see. I feel like that's what I would list. do. But like, you know what else I need? I need an eye patch, <laughs> right? Bubble gum and baby oil, and then yeah. we're good to go. Yeah, <laughs> sleeping pills. Uh, Sunny Panda said, uh, <laughs> "Dearest Kristen, so simple solutions are sometimes the easiest. Avoid all future purchases of lady products by switching over to reusable washcloths <laughs> and just wading out into a river once a month." With this, you'll reduce embarrassing purchases and heighten, heighten your chances of finding love or hypothermia, whatever comes first. Yeah. Wow. I <laughs> See, I'm the kind of person who, like, something embarrassing like that, I'm like, oh, it happens, you know? Yeah, look, I have tampons. Look, everybody. <laughs> I don't even think you would notice. I think you, you, you are usually the person that, like, it's afterwards when you're like, oh! Like, it doesn't even dawn on you. What do you mean, afterwards? Like, like if if that were you and you were at the checkout and you're like with your tampons and and situations, then you would just check out. And be like, hey, what's up? And then as you're walking away, like, like after the moment's over. Oh yeah, I had tampons then you in my hand talking you're like, to a hot guy. Okay, I just did that. <laughs> no wonder he was looking at me funny. It's comic I know, and and someone said something when she was uh, checking out, and he was like, oh, she probably wants a bag for those. And she uh, she held him over her head and skipped out singing "I'm Every Woman." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Even better. I thought I was cool. I like that a lot. Maximum absorbency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wear supers. Oh God, too far. I say okay. <laughs> I was proud of myself as a man for even knowing maximum absorbency, but supers. <laughs> uh, what is that? <laughs> I need I need answers. They're, they have now. different sizes. Oh. It's like the the Magnum edition is what you're Depending on how heavy your flow is. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hey, you know the, the part where I apologize for asking the question and want to turn back time? That yep, just happened. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Nate's never going to come back in the studio ever again. This is my last time. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if, uh, if you have one of these strange things and you need some re relationship advice that will probably be terrible, you should let us know. Hit us up on our Facebook page and uh, we will share it with Nate and the crew. Oh, that's cool. You have a crew now. It is a crew. Now we have to come up with a rap name for you. <laughs> that just that's happened. A, well, what's the rapper's name that we, we were confused about? For It was Chance the Rapper. Oh, yeah. He'll just be Nate the Rapper. That's easy enough. <laughs> there you that go. Works. Nate Dog. You're Nate Probably the Rapper it. with the crew. <laughs> right or, now all your friends are like, I don't want to be the crew. Probably. KCC. There you go. KCC. What's that? Kalamazoo Comedy. What was the other C word you just said? Crew. We had Kalamazoo Ill Illuminati for a while, but that was <laughs> a bit different. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> Illuminati. My my fourteen year old says it all the time, like he's hilarious. I'm like, I don't know. K 
Can you explain people, it, Nate? People plan the world, basically, I think, on top of buildings. Plan the that's world? That's what the Illuminati is. Okay. Oh. It's on the money. Like right? a secret society. Yeah. Oh, like the whole masonry thing. Yeah, the masons, yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Who knew this was going to be educational, too? <laughs> All right, well, now that I'm schooled, Nate, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, guys.